Okay, this is a period of a pendulum uh, formula examples. Remember the formula here is 2 pi square root L over G, where T is the period in seconds. L is the length of that pendulum in meters. That will be from the uh, point where it's rotating about all the way down towards the center of the mass. And G is the acceleration due to gravity. And that'll be in meters per second squared. Okay, so first example here we've got is what is a period and frequency of a uh, 2.5 meter pendulum on the surface of Mercury? So we're going to just plug in our numbers. Okay, now as you solve for this, you're going to first of all do the division and square root this bit, then multiply by 2 pi. So 2 pi of the 2.5 divided by 3.81, that gets you uh, the square root of 0 0.65. You'll square root that and multiply by 2 pi. You wind up with a period of 5.09 seconds. Now as we take that and uh, we inverse it to find the frequency, 1 over this 5.09, that gets you a frequency of, uh, just let me calculate it here, uh, 0 0.196 hertz. Okay, example number two. What is the length of a pendulum with a frequency of 0.75? Well, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to find the period by inversing the frequency, and you find that period is 1.3 repeating seconds. So we're looking for the length. T is equal to 2 pi square root L over G. Now you may want to plug in your numbers and then do the algebra or uh, might be easier but you're going to first of all divide by 2 pi, square everything, and then multiply by G in order to get L by itself. Uh, again you may want to do that within multiple steps. We'll show that in example number three but uh, here we're going to take again that 1.3 repeating over 2 pi then square it, and then we're going to multiply by 9.81 in order to get L because we have not been told where we are, so we assume we're on Earth. And you find that the length, if you typed everything incorrectly, is 0.44 meters. One last example. Uh, period is equal to 2 pi square root L over G again. We've got a period of 2.25 seconds, so not a lot of time for a pretty long pendulum, considering. So we are going to expect a pretty high uh, acceleration due to gravity, 0.67 divided by g. First thing, we're going to divide by 2 pi. We'll get the square root of 0.67 over g, and this 0.25 divided by 2 pi gets you 0 0.0397 da, 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 is equal to the square root of 0 0.67 over g. We'll now need to square everything. And when you square both sides, 5, 8, and you're keeping your calculator answer in this, and then you're going to uh, Multiply by G, divide by the answer you've already got on the left side. So G is equal to 0 0.67 divided by 0 0.00158. And again, keeping the calculator answer, you wind up with an answer that is actually very huge. 
0.3 meters per second squared. So physics is a lot of fun here because everything is a little bit abstract, but uh, hope that helps with the class examples. If you're having any difficulties, give me a, give me a shout.